Okay, y'all, let's get it because I'm on fire. Sure am. The Raha Kadush just exposing the lies of religiosity. Uh, hell going to be full of a heap of religious folks of all nations. And, and sad to say, a lot of Negro religious folks going to be in there too. Yeah, Yahusha Hamashiach ain't coming for the religious. He's coming for the righteous the holy and the sanctified. Yeah, let's get it. So precious uh, Abba, we just come rightly dividing the word of truth, depending on your Ruha Kadush to give us the clear understanding of your holy word that we thereby may live by it, not be readers and not be hearers, but to be the doer of your word because Yahusha said, Yahuwah, he said, it will be the doer that will be justified, not the hearer and those who casually read your word like it's some lying history book. When actuality, this is his story, which is Yahusha HaMashiach. Yeah, so we just give this time over to you, Raha Kadash. Do what only you can do. Give us revelation, knowledge, and understanding and wisdom. Uh, no human person, flesh and blood, can cause someone to really understand and, 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 and be able to digest and then bring back up your word. And then when you said bring forth fruit, uh, 30, 60, and 100 fold, and then you said uh, to bear fruit that remains. Christians don't know nothing about no Holy Ghost, Raha Kadash, uh, fruit of the spirit remaining in their lives. No, no, Abba, we, we know this is the problem because they are fleshly, they are carnal, they are the lukewarm, they are the religious. So I thank you, Raha Kadush, for this time in the holy word of the almighty Yahuwah and his holy son, Yahusha Hamashiach. Truly, truly. And, and did you notice when what the world calls in a religious system called Jesus uh, talks in the Bible. He 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 never said amen. He said truly, truly. See how they must have, I don't know what they did, but see that's, now who is the author of confusion? Hasatan. Ain't that something? Okay, let's get it. Ephesians chapter four. I, therefore, and this is Paul, see, we need to understand several things. Who's speaking? Who is he speaking to and why? And it's okay to know when, where, that's fine. But what we better know is who he talked to and here's who he's talking to and talking about the unity of the spirit. Now, you Christian folks, you Negro Christians, even you Caucasian Christians, especially you all, because you all ain't got no unity and you ain't got no love. And you Negro Christians don't either. So you all in the same hot pot. Uh, that's a hot hell mess. Uh, Paul is addressing the unity of the spirit. Let's get it. And so he sure ain't talking to heathens and, and uh, the wicked. He is talking to those who talk about they are followers of the master. You know, who y'all say is Jesus. Let's get it. I therefore, see, this is not for the beloved. When I'm talking and teaching like this and cutting and with that two double fists and, 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 and blazing, two blazings in my name and two fists. Ain't that something? You ought to find out what your name means in Hebrew. It'll make you understand why you are the way you are, your personality, your character. Yes. Did you know everybody's name in Hebrew has a meaning? Okay, let's get it. I, therefore, the prisoner of Yah, beseech you that you walk worthy of your vocation. Wherefore ye are called, wherefore you are called. He, he said we ought to walk worthy, not out here getting swallowed up. Let's get it. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, 
forbearing one another in love. This is why all the religions, all the denominations, they getting ready to be in that tri great tribulation because there is no lowliness in the leadership. Show sure enough ain't no meekness in them. And long suffering And forbearing one another in love, you ain't got that in, in the brick and mortar religious system. <laughs> no, I said no. Let's go. Endeavoring, look up the word endeavoring. It's kind of like enduring. Absolutely it is. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Now, y'all know there ain't no peace and no brick and mortar religious system. I'm not even going to break that down. Verse four, there is one body, one spirit, even as you are called and one hope of your calling. And what is that hope? One hope, that's that, that blessed hope. So you religious folks, you can have a hope but it's a delusional hope because the way you all slander, gossip, backbite, lovers of yourself, some of you are doing things you know you don't supposed to be doing and you could care less. You absolutely and emphatically have no fear of the most high, the holy most high Yahuwah. Yeah, that's who you are to shiver at, but you guys don't. You, you know who y'all shiver at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to say that. You shiver at them Caucasian bosses. You shiver at the popo. You shiver at the judges and the lawyers and your spouses and even your children. The one you are to shiver in great fear is Yahuwah and his holy saying Yahushua HaMashiach and that Rocha Kadash. But y'all don't know nothing about that holy fear. But when you get left behind, baby, baby, ain't no maybe. You won't get the fear of the most high then. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, yes, there is one body, the body of Christ, uh, look there, the body of Yahusha, one spirit, the Rahakadosh, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. Ain't that something? That's really something. All right, verse five, one Yah and one faith, one baptism. Can't tell with all these denominations. And I know you can't tell. That's because they're all lies. And who did they originate from? Hasatan, Satan, that old dragon, the devil. Uh, verse six, one father of all who is above all. No, y'all putting y'all pastors above him. Uh, in the Catholic religion, they believe they are higher than the Christ. You know that's Hasatan. Didn't he say, I will exalt my throne above the... the that's why you know that's the devil. Uh, you all, it say one Yah and father of all, who is above all and through all, and in you all. No, they don't treat you like that in church. Uh, the bishops and the pastors and the teachers and the preachers and the apostles and the evangelists, they think they they think they Jesus. Yeah, absolutely do. And no wonder Yahuwah said, I will share my glory with no man. And it's not just, it don't mean masculine. It means mankind. Because you got women thinking they big and bad. Ooh, but when that tribulation hit they tails. You know, like the Paula Whites, the Juanita Bynum, uh, Joyce Myers. Okay. But unto every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of the gift of Yahusha. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive 
and gave gifts unto man, mankind, human beings. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? Into the lower parts of the earth? Because it's a question mark, so I have to read that different. What is the lower parts in the earth? Hail. That's how he took captivity captive. Because what is hell representing? Sin. Debaucheries. Fornication. Lying. Adultery. You know, being swallowed up. Okay. Now that he ascended, was what is it? but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above the heavens. Did Buddha ever do that? No, I think Allah did that. Ain't, it, ain't this a mess? That he might fill all things. And no wonder why I say might. Because, see, he's not going to fill you if you don't want him to fill you up. But, see, you'll be willing be, to be filled up with all kind of swallowed up stuff. Yeah. Ain't that something? All kind of diverse lusts, lying and gossiping spirits. That's what fills you Christians up. You lukewarm, carnal, pitiful, pathetic, and sad Christians. You guys are filled up. Yeah. Yeah. With a bunch of dung. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say something else, but I, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I know. Ain't this something? Oh, it's tight, but I know it's right. Okay. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Now, now, why did he give them for what was the purpose? Was it for you to get money, money, money? Was it for you to enslave his children to fear you and not him? Watch this. This was the purpose that he gave these fivefold ministries. For the perfecting of the saints. Mm, it didn't say Christians. And you wonder why Christians is full of dung and messy? Their leaders are. You know, it's saying in the Old Testament, priests like people and people like priests. You realize what you yield yourself to, what you connect yourself to, you are? Yes. So whatever's in Mr. Swallowed Up, oh, it's through the whole congregation. Or should I say his members? Yeah, that, that sounds better. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. And you wonder why ain't no real work, ministry work going on? They're not mature. They full of hell. Yeah. For the edifying of the body of Yahusha. No, 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 no. They is too busy edifying themselves. If you all don't leave them hell, your nice, Christ, uh, uh, well, Christian churches. I was going to say Christians, but it's Christian churches. They're not his dwelling place of holiness and prayer and worship and righteousness. No, no, no. They are man-made synagogues of satan ain't that something i'll be back let's deal with it